Greetings, this is PickOps56 and my faithful Indian companion and cameraman John Doe. And we're coming to you with snack review number seven. This one is another, another offering from Trader Joe's. This is their British mustard and ale cheddar cheese. I'll hold this up so John can get a good close up of it. And now I'll tell you a little bit about it. Look what Trader Joe's has to say about it. Officially named Trader Joe's British Mustard and Ale Cheddar Cheese, this fab fromage comes to us from a small family-run creamery in the south of Wales. The cheese is crafted according to cheddar tradition with the not-so-traditional additions of strong British ale and mustard seeds. As the cheese ages for a minimum of three months, it takes on the classic cheddar creaminess, which is punctuated here by the subtle crunch of the mustard. The ale imparts a bit of bite to the otherwise mild cheese, and the mustard seeds deliver just a hint of spice. This is a one-of-a-kind cheese that's pretty good, much that, that's good pretty much anywhere on a cheese board with crackers and fruit for a simple lunch on a burger or melted over steamed veggies or a hearty bowl of turkey chili. If it's made with turkey, it ain't chili. <clears throat> Just got to get that in there. And it has to have beans. But enough of that. <laughs> uh, John, I... Yeah, uh, why don't you come on over here and, uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> On second thought, reframe back to me, and uh, that way I can, I can give them a look at the, what it looks like outside the wrapper. Sorry about the confusion. <laughs> Yeah, it's got this kind of a kind of a plastic uh, on it that feels it kind of looks and feels like wax paper, but it's actually plastic. So. All right, there is what the cheese looks like out of the package. You can definitely see the mustard seeds all in it. Okay, and. Uh, now you can All reframe right. and come on around, and in the meantime, I will cut a few slices, a couple of slices. Slices easily enough. And uh, there, now you can grab your one. And that way you don't have to get my cooties all over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, smell it. I definitely smell the mustard seed in it. I sure do too. I mean, it smells like mustard. Like you just opened a can of French's mustard. It smells good though. I don't smell the ale. Maybe the must slightly. Yeah, the mustard pretty much overwhelms everything. Well, let's taste it. Mm. Mmm, I got the ale now. I'm quite surprised. It's pretty good. Mm. It's smooth, mm. mellow, doesn't bite. No, well, I got a little bite. You got a little bite? From the mustard seeds. The mustard flavor is right up front. It just about overwhelms everything. I get a little hint of the ale on the back end as I mm -hmm. chew it. Yep. But tell you the truth, it don't taste much like cheddar cheese to me. It's cheese, it has a cheese flavor, but I think that there's too much mustard flavor in it. It overwhelms everything else, at least to so my palate. Yeah. You well, to me, it's uh, it's mild, mellow, smooth, 
not overpowering. Well, I agree it's mild. The, for the cheese part, mm -hmm. it's mild. It is mellow. But I still say that the mustard overwhelms everything else. It's too much for you. It's just, it's, yeah, it's just too, too much mustard flavor. Because, not because I don't like mustard, but because it seems to me to cover everything else up. Mm -hmm. Makes it harder to bring out the other flavors that are, that are in it. Um, to me, it's, in my opinion, for me, my taste, it's just right. And then again, then again like you said, uh, the ale at the end is right there. I think this would be good in cooking something. Mm -hmm. you know, added to something else. But by itself, as a snacking cheese, it doesn't do it for me. Not your cup not, of tea. Not not for snack. Not for snacking. Just straight like this. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's a little. The amount of mustard flavor in it is off-putting to me. I believe it would be real good mm -hmm. over on our hamburger. But I know how much you love mustard. I love mustard. So, luckily for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not only are you going to get to take the rest of this home. Oh, goody. <laughs> but I bought an extra one when I was at the Trader Joe's. Yeah. For you to take home. Oh. <laughs> because I knew how much you love yeah, mustard. mustard. And I knew you would love this. That would be great. So I thought I was going to be keeping this one. Because yeah. I thought I was going to like it. Yeah. And you don't. And I don't like it enough to keep it. I don't hate it. But it, for snacking purposes, it just Not isn't right for me. Okay. Okay, there's just too much of that mustard flavor in it. Well, I'll take good care of it. I thought you <laughs> might. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it'll be in good hands. It or, will. Or at least good mouth, you know. It's, uh, and I don't know about good stomach. Cause it's pretty good. Well, it won't go into your stomach. No. no. <laughs> okay, so... Um, what kind of opinion? I gotta give it one of these I'm for me. Give it these two. I know you would. These are good. This I is good. Would. Without I know you would. In fact, I could snack it. And cut that off. Cook it on anything. And there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll finish this. And the rest of it, will you get to have and take home with you and enjoy all you like. All right. I have to say this was a little bit, a little bit of a different. <laughs> Review for us. It really is. You know, this was, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. So, all right. That it? I think that's it. I have not much more to say. That took care of snack review number seven. If you're like John and you really love mustard, go to t Trader Joe's, get you some of that. I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you're not that big on mustard, you might not like it. So, we'll see you at the next step. Yeah, let's see if I can get that through this. Let's see if I can get through this. Yeah. <laughs> let's see if I can get through this. Okay, I'll be cutting that out for the blooper reel. But until then, we'll see you at the next snack review.